Hey, Riverwood family. You know, we are getting close to Easter. It's Palm Sunday this Sunday. And uh, we've been, of course, studying the life of Jesus going through this journey and his walk to the Garden of Gethsemane. We're going to look at John chapter 17 this coming week. So I ask you to read ahead and, and dive into that chapter. But, you know, we've been talking a lot about how he was instructing his disciples about all the challenges that they are going to face. And I was reading in Luke chapter eight recently, and it, it, this just, just hit me. You know, Jesus was um, had just fed the multitudes, took his disciples with him in a boat, headed across the lake, and the, the little sea. And in the midst of all that, of course, he was tired. So he, he slept, he took a nap in the boat. And meanwhile, a raging storm uh, comes up. And it scares, it frightens the disciples. Uh, they think they're gonna die. And now note that some of these disciples are experienced fishermen. They know when their life is at risk in the open water and they arouse Jesus. And Jesus, of course, stands up and rebukes the storm. This is what it says. He got up and rebuked the wind and the raging waters. The storm subsided and all was calm. Where is your faith? He asked his disciples. Wow, that hit me because I wonder if he wasn't expecting his disciples to calm the storm because it says they were surprised even that Jesus had done that. I don't think Jesus was expecting his disciples to do the miracle that he just performed. I think Jesus was asking his disciples to just rest in the way that he rested, to have peace in the midst of the storm that he had. And that's the faith I think that God is calling us into. Even as we look forward, and not in a perhaps a good way, but we look forward to the storms that will lie ahead. And perhaps you're in a raging storm right now. But my encouragement to you is the faith that Jesus is looking for is the one to trust him in it. So that's my prayer for you today. My challenge for all of us to just be restful, even in the midst of the storm. We'll see you Sunday.